Look how beautiful it is. Chichi, lie down. Lie down, Chichi, lie down. Good boy, lie down. Lie down, JJ. All right, guys, we're gonna make a scrambled egg this morning with tofu. Uh, right now, I have about a heaping tablespoon of flour that I'm gonna add water to. A little more. Just get a little extra. Now you don't have to use flour, you can use chickpea flour if you want. I'm just using whatever I have on hand. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little more. That should be good. Okay. We have some beautiful hosta leaves. I'm sure all of you have this in your garden. These are completely edible. I'm just going to give these a wash. Okay. I'm going to chop that up. Now, you don't have to use hostas if you don't want. You can use spinach. But this is Make Do at the Cabin series. We have no spinach. And hostas is a delicacy. In Japan, they grow it for food. And they are delicious. Okay, we're going to push that aside. Okay, have a little tomato left. That's going to be perfect. some onion. Some onion. Yeah. Let me cut it in a way where yeah, I'm gonna do it this way first and then chop it up the other way. Erica, you wanna start making some toast? Okay, so these are our three ingredients. Now, if you have any vegan meat, you can use that. But because we're using tofu, this is what I'm using. These are so handy to have. They don't have to be refrigerated. They're soft, so they kind of resemble when you kind of make a scramble. And you could have stacks of these in your pantry. And when you're ready... You pop one open and you have something that you can use either. Uh, what we like to do with this is if we make like a ramen, we'll take a block and we'll put half a block in our ramen bowl. Um, you can just put some fried chili on top of this and serve it. Uh, there's so many things. You, you can make desserts with this. Fantastic. Fantastic to have. Okay, I'm just going to pop this open. 
I'm going to drain it a bit. It doesn't have a lot of water, but I do like to just get whatever water is in there out. There it is. It has like about a tablespoon of water in there. Okay, we've got the oil going. And we're going to start off with our onion. And our pastas. some chili because we like chili and we're going to put some salt a little bit of black pepper You have to smell how good this smells. I'm telling you, you'll love pastas, but get them nice and tender. I usually trim around the bush, the younger leaves, because once the fall comes around, they're really kind of hard to, they get a little woodsy. But in the spring, they're fantastic. As soon as they come up, And in the summer, you always have some tender leaves all the time. Like I said, I go around the bush rather than... Okay, we have a drizzle of maple. Okay, let's add the tomato. Olive oil, you use as much as you want. Okay, you ready? Break in that tofu. Now, I don't smash it up a lot. I leave it kind of in chunks so it resembles scrambled eggs. And as you mix it, it will definitely start breaking up a little more on you. That look like scrambled. Mm, my God, really good. Erica, yeah. you want to get some toast? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of nutritional yeast. And now we have. Our flour. And we have scrambled, guys. Let's 
maple. A little extra chili. And then we'll put a little bit of I'm going to put a little bit of uh, eight salt, but whoever wants to add extra, they can. Tell me that doesn't look like scrambled eggs. Now, if I was at home, I'd have some liquid smoke. Erica, you want to pull out an avocado? Some egg salt. And this is pretty much done. Smells like egg, tastes like egg. I am going to lower this to very low because our toast is not ready. We have delicious sprouted bread. And there is scrambled eggs. Isn't that easy? All right, guys. I'll show you what it looks like when we, when we plate it. You want it on your bread or do you want it I on the want side? I want it on the side because I'm going to put jam on my toast. Okay. Okay. Can I have a spoon, Eric? Okay, some avocado. Where's the nutritional yeast? I put it away. Oh, do you want some more? Mm -mm. You're good? Mm -hmm. Where's the egg salt? Do you have the egg I salt? I put it there first. Okay. Better not to put the egg salt because it makes it turn a little gray for your photo. It's not going to There you go. A little extra for Eric. There it is. Okay, so Erica likes her all American, I guess, toast with jam. And her scrambled, that's a nice portion of protein for her. And that is going to be super delicious. Ooh, you missed the target. Let me take a picture. Okay, Erica. Erica's serving me now. And that's how quick it is to really make a scramble. Well, Connie's scramble. And how do you like it, Erica? Well, it's not Erica's first time tasting it. Mmm, so good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You want to put some egg salt on it? Mm. I'm going to put some extra egg salt. That is really good. Yeah. And it's with some fresh pasta. Egg salt is always best to put at the end. I put some while I was cooking, but mm. it kind of evaporates. Yes. But it always adds the saltiness, right? But if you want that taste of that egg, always put your egg salt at the end. A little. This is made with this is I didn't make this one, but it's similar to the one I make. It's made with coconut oil and sunflower oil, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's better than the uh, the one that has the canola. canola oil. So, and this is called melt, right? 
Mm -hmm. yeah. A little healthier. I don't use a lot of it. I've been eating raw till now, but how can you resist, right? A little bit of jam, not too much. And I remember, I remember the first time I went to the United States and we went for breakfast and I ordered sunny side eggs because I wasn't a vegan then. And I remember them bringing me a side order of toast and they brought me butter and jam. And I says, oh, you know what? I says, let me try the eggs with the butter and jam on my toast. Well, that was the first time. And then it was all the time. <laughs> I just love eating sweet and savory, guys. All right, I want to put this somewhere where, where can I put it? I'll put it in my dish, your dish. Erica's already, look at Erica's plate. It was delicious. <laughs> she said that it came up better this time than ever. I don't know how because it's the same recipe. Good? That's my best one. Yeah? <laughs> Maybe mm -hmm. because you're hungry. Yum yum. Mm. All right, guys. I'm gonna eat my breakfast, and then we're gonna take the teach for a walk. And if the weather permits, we'll be at the lake a bit. I'm gonna say thank you for coming by at the cabin, and thank you for watching my recipes. And I hope you give these a try. And I'm going to say I love you, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> I love you.